Hey y'all. Glad you could join me again for cocktails and conversations. It's your favorite, even if you don't know it yet, Empress Oracle. And um, before we start today, I just want to say, if you are judgmental, this might not be the page for you. All right. If you are not open minded, you might, you might want to click out because that's not what cocktails and conversations is all about. It's about being open minded and us, you know what I'm saying? Shooting the shit. All right. Now we're done right With that being said, guys, you know, y'all already know who the special invited guest is. Okay. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. What do you mean you don't want to? Here she comes, here she comes. But, y'all, she didn't want to come on the screen because she didn't want y'all to call her fat. Okay, she not fat, she thick. Because this is the 24 ounce that I found. Look at that. Look, look. Just as delicious as a 16 ounce. I just want to put that out there. But, anywho. So, today, I think I want to tell y'all a little story time. Okay? I know I've I've told hella stories like with my my healing wisdom and stuff. A lot of times I use myself as an example. So all these stories, but now okay, we about to go. We about to flash back to the past. I got I got to tell y'all this story, this experience. I want to tell you guys about my experience about the time that I went gay and came right the fuck back. Okay, <laughs> came right the fuck back. <laughs> y'all, yes. Okay, I, I swear. Okay, all right, all right. So, this was like, I don't even remember what year it was. I was young. I had to be probably about, around this time, I think I was about 22, 23. I was in my early 20s, okay? I was in my early 20s. Back in the day or whatever, because y'all know I'm, y'all know I'm uh, mature, ma mature. So, it was back in the day, right? And um, I was where I used to be a waitress back in the day at Applebee's. That was whew, this Applebee's that I worked at. Okay, was like gay land. All right, no offense if I don't use proper terminology for stuff. Y'all, y'all don't beat me up. Shit, don't don't fucking beat me up. I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest. But this Applebee's that I worked at, it literally was like gay land. I am cannot, I can't make this up. Okay, I have plenty of stories from working there, but this one right here. Okay, so I used to work there. And everybody that I worked with was part of the LGBTQ community, except for me, right? Everybody. Everybody. Low-key, I was kind of surprised that they actually hired me because I was like, damn, everybody seems to be gay. But, you know, like the cooks and all that stuff, the people in the back, they were straight. The guys, they were straight. But majority of everybody else was like, you know, homosexual. So, of course, I got cool with everybody because I love everybody, all right? And I just be so interested in people. But I got cool with everybody. So, it was, uh, you know, we always used to go afterwards, after we were done, a night's a good long night of hard work. We all would get together, a whole group of us, squad, you know what I'm saying? And we would go to the bar, duh. What else are you supposed to do after the fucking all them hours on your feet serving other people? Go get drunk. So we would go to this bar. And there was this one, I am I call it the hood spot, you know what I'm saying? Like the hole in the wall where everybody be at where it's always jumping and stuff. It was this one spot that we would always go to after work and stuff. The whole crew, you know, they knew us. You know, we, they put tables together for us. And we, you know, have a few drinks before we disperse to our homes and whatnot. So... One night, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. You know what I'm saying? We had our drinks and stuff, and I was like, shit, I got to go to the bathroom. Now, they had a really small bathroom. It had, like, two stalls. So, I go into the bathroom, and I walk in there, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I don't walk into the wrong bathroom. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I accidentally walked into the to the men's restroom because this dude is just standing there looking at me. This dude is just, like, looking at me. Like, he's looking at me. I'm looking at him. We're like... And I was like, no, 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 no. So I walk out and I'll turn around, look at the door. I'm not tripping to say lady. So I walk back in. I'm like, sir, excuse me, sir. Are you, are you lost? And the guy is like, <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be in here. I was like, no, this is the ladies room. And the guy was like, ah, I'm a girl. I was like, 
Nice try. Nice try. You may identify as one, but clearly, sir, you are not a girl. And it was it was a female. It was a fe fine as hell, y'all. Fine as hell. Okay, I, I promise you, I was like, ooh. Fine as hell. Look just like a boy. Look just like a boy. Had an afro. Way nicer than mine. Okay, lined the fuck up. Okay, lined up clean, smooth afro. Pretty chocolate skin. Look like a dude. A petite dude, but a dude, right? So I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. Awkward. I use the bathroom, do my business and stuff, and I get up, go back out to some of my coworkers and stuff. So I go back to my coworkers, and we just dancing, chilling. We having a good time, whatever. And the the guy girl comes up to me and is like, hey, you know what I'm saying? What up, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm just joking around and stuff. I'm like, hey, blah, blah. Now, I've always been the type to be like, I'll try anything at least once. Except for crack. We don't we don't try that. We don't try things like that, right? So, you know, the person... Okay, I'm not going to use her real name. So, I'm going to say Tommy, right? Tommy told me Tommy's name was Tommy. Tommy was like, yo what's up whatever and i was like oh you know i don't like girls and blah, 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 and he's like i mean she's like yeah, yeah, yeah whatever whatever so but tommy was cool though tommy was real cool tommy knew a few of the people that i was with and everything so everything was all good so of course we exchanged numbers because tommy was fine as hell i was like i don't believe you have a vagina tommy i just don't believe it right so i gave tommy my number and i played hard to get though i did because I felt like Tommy was one of those studs that Quest is like to conquer straight people is what I feel like. Because I, of course, I had a lot of, you know what I'm saying, gay friends, a lot of friends that were lesbians. One of my best friends at the time was actually a stud that I worked with. And that was my ace boon, okay? Her and her girlfriend, ace boons, right? So I'm like, okay, my dumb ass. I'm like, yeah, we could just be cool. So we on the phone and, you know, Tommy would always drop hints about certain things and be like, well, why? Why don't you like girls or X, Y, Z? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm just not attracted to females. It's nothing against y'all. I'm pretty sure I know what I like. You know, I was a teen mom. I'm pretty sure I know what I like. Right? So Tommy was like, well, you should at least try it. You should at least try it once. You can't say you're not gay. You never even tried it or whatever. And I was like, mm. Because, you know, a lot of people tried to get me before. But I was like, hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, you're right. I'll think about it. So Tommy planted the seed in my head. So after a while, Tommy was like, shoot, come kick it. I'm like, oh. Because I already knew. I already knew. You already know what's going down. Now come kick it. This was before Netflix. So it wasn't no Netflix and chill. But Tommy was like, you know what I'm saying? We could watch some movies and shit. I'm like, okay. Haha, <laughs> okay. So I go over to Tommy's house and everything is cool. Me and Tommy, we chilling, we kicking in, we smoking, we shooting the shit. Tommy cool as hell. We got jokes, just just shooting the shit. Tommy was cool as hell. So I felt really comfortable. I did. I felt real comfortable with Tommy. And Tommy was fine as hell as well. Tommy looked like a boy. Tommy looked like a boy. Tommy looked like a boy. When I went to Tommy's house, I was like, I do not believe you have a vagina, sir, ma'am. Tommy showed me pictures from back in the day. I was like, wow. A haircut really do some shit. A haircut really do some shit. So anyway, we we there, we chilling on the couch or whatever. I'm over there like all day. Like we are kicking it hard. Like we kicking it. We kicking it. And then finally, you know, I get comfortable enough. You know, a little tipsy, a little, you know, smoke. I get comfortable enough. And Tommy's like, yo, so you want to try it? Like, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, pressure you to do anything. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you could try. I guarantee you I could change your mind. I guarantee you. Man, females give hair better than dudes. And when Tommy said that, I was like, you lie. You lie, Tommy. Tommy, you lie. Tommy was like, nah. I'm saying, Ma, I just try it. I'm like, all right, bet. Bet. So we go into the room, right? And now I'm very, very nervous. I am a very sexually open person. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do that. 
So I was, I was like real nervous and Tommy was like, oh, it's okay, relax and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, because Tommy was trying to, you know, do the foreplay and all that shit. And I just, it just, I, mm, I was, it was awkward for me. It was, it was awkward for me, you know, because my mans, I like my mans hard. I like my mans fit and buff with muscles and stuff. And you know, Tommy didn't have that. So Tommy saw me getting uncomfortable. So Tommy was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Just lay back. I got you. X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I Tommy turned the lights. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fucking dead fishing it and shit. Just laying there nervous and shit like this. Stiff. Stiff. Mortuary. Okay? So then Tommy... You know, Tommy start doing things right here or there. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Give me a little, you know what I'm saying? A little preview of what the, what the tongue is like. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So then Tommy proceeds to go downtown. y'all my word let me let me clutch my pearls real quick my word tommy ate me out of house and fucking home you hear me let me tell you said tommy eat me out the house on bomba clot warm to ross me said bomba yo i had to look down like yo i i i think i died about three times came back to life tommy <laughs> snatching my soul again i'm like jesus Toes curl. I'm talking about convulsing, all types of shit. I'm talking about, I was in there. I Listen, at that point, I was gay, right? I was like, okay, all right. And But then, as we're doing it, Tommy started to get, like, really, really into it, you know what I'm saying? And start like, you know what I'm saying, rubbing her body on me and stuff. And Tommy put her titties on my leg. Tommy's titties was on my leg. And that was kind of like a, oh, uh, and hope. So, you know, I'm feeling, I'm like, <laughs> I said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a goddamn minute. Because when I was looking down, it looked like a dude was between my legs. So it was all good. You know what I'm saying? The, like, the fantasy was there for me. I'm looking down, it looks like a guy. <laughs> Gremlin in my shit, right? But then Tommy put his t her titties on my leg and i was like wait stop wait a minute i was like i don't, <laughs> I don't like that I don't, I don't i don't i don't like that right yo tommy was like oh my bad you don't like that you don't like titties my bad i'm sorry i forgot i forgot tommy was like yo i could go get the strap i could go get the strap i was like whoa 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 baby steps baby steps we just got here T today's my first day you trying to have finals already like can we calm down please tommy so tommy was like yeah yeah you know you're right tommy just really wanted to fuck me tommy wanted to fuck me any kind of way i could be fucked i'm just saying period tommy wanted to so tommy go back and do a thing right so this time i'm like hey no offense, but when you're doing it, can you not put your, your titties on me? Can you can you keep, keep your breasts over there? Because it's kind of weird. The Tommy was like, okay. I think at first, Tommy got a little offended, but then Tommy was like, okay, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. You know, she's new to this. She's not gay yet. So, Tommy go back to snatching my soul. And I this time, you know, I'm, I'm really into it. I'm, I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm really into it. I'm really fucking into it. Right, and as Tommy is, you know, what I'm saying about to about to make it to the championships again. All of a sudden, I got my eyes closed. But you like, you know, if it's dark and you got your eyes closed, and all of a sudden somebody come and turn the lights, and it's like behind your eyes it just turns like red or something. That's what happened. So I pop my eyes open. Like, what the fuck going on? Y'all. I open my eyes, and in the doorway is this fucking older lady 
mind you, at the time I was like my early 20s. So this lady had to be like, maybe like mid thirties. It was this older lady standing in the doorway like this, buck ass naked. When I say, when me say nothing, pum pum on skin, naked as the fuck, naked as hell. Just standing there, spread eagle in the doorway. And this bitch was obviously fucked up, like under the influence or whatever. And she just looks and she's like, Tommy, no, you're mine. And just bust out crying. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, yo, is this real? I was like, see, this is what I get. I was like, this is what, this is what I fuck I get. Tommy is like, oh shit. The naked lady in the doorway lunges at me who is just laying down, pussy out, <laughs> right? Just laying there, right? Like what the hell? The lady lunges at me. Tommy, thankfully, Tommy had some cat-like reflexes. Tommy was like, oh, hell nah. Tommy lunges and grabs this lady, okay, and folds this lady up like a goddamn fucking men's handkerchief to go into their tuxedo for the wedding. All right? That's what Tommy did. Tommy folded that bitch up. I was like, oh, shit. Come to find out, it's Tommy's damn ex that used to live there. And they broke up. And apparently, Tommy's ex still had a kid. <laughs> Tommy's ex, I don't know. Her spidey senses must have been tingling. I don't know. I don't know what the hell. She must have had a tracker on that tongue or something. And be like, something ain't right. Because this bitch popped up. And she popped off. But she did not touch me. I laid right there. And the crazy part about it is Tommy was like, don't even worry about it. I got it. After folding this bitch up. And carried this, this lady off out the room. Okay, I, I listen. I don't know what she said to that lady. All I know is it was a little, it was some yelling, and then the lady just bust out crying. That's all I heard because I was still laying on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Ready to rock out. I'm still laying there. I'm still laying there. Like, was Tommy said, don't no, move. So, shit. yo, I hear the lady crying and stuff. I hear the door slam. I hear all types of arguments, scuffling back and forth. Tommy come back, like, yo, my bad. I'm like, well, what's going on, Tommy? Tommy ran it down in like two minutes flat. I was like, I bet Tommy went back to eating. Because you know what I'm saying? Supper was not over yet. Tommy was still hungry. Tommy went back to eating. So that was my first experience. But then after that, like I told you, after that, Tommy proceeded to snatch my soul yet again. And I was like, <sighs> okay. I went home. I called up. All my little friends I had, I was like, hey, I'm gay now. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> okay? I was like, yeah, I'm gay. Totally. That that did not last long, y'all. Okay? That did not last long at all. At all. You know, lesbian relationships go really, really quick. Well, okay, I say Tommy and I probably dated for about a month. During that time, Tommy came to the, the family cookout and shit. Even dressed like a girl for that shit. It, it was kind of awkward. You know what I'm saying? It was like a, it was like a nigga in a dress. <laughs> it was like a nigga in a dress. So I'm pretty sure they was like. But whatever. It was cool. But. It was just like. Okay. What made me realize. That I am not gay. For sure, for sure, is, okay, Tommy and I's relationship was cool until it came to, you know, time to, you know, get into it. Tommy would always, you know, of course, as the, the, the masculine figure, take the initiative and do whatever, because I just wasn't comfortable with it. But then finally, you know, Tommy had needs too, so finally Tommy was like, well, shit, what's up? I was saying Tommy was at my house and stuff. Tommy like, what's up? <laughs> I need some, Tommy needs some love, too. I was like, oh, dear. I was like, ooh. Hmm. About that, Tommy. About that. I don't know, Tommy. I don't know. I don't know, Tommy. And Tommy was like, well, you know, just do what you feel comfortable with. Just try it. So, you know, we're in the bed frolicking around and everything. And I just couldn't do it, guys. I just could not do it. 
I couldn't do it. But these hands, though, I was like, how about, I was like, I bet you I could make you feel good with my hands. How about that? And then just like my, my, my old Edward Scissorhands ass was <laughs> cutting up in the cut. Cutting up in the cut. I just did to Tommy what I do to myself. You feel me? <laughs> Yo. This bitch was going crazy. Crazy. I mean, I got, you know, I like to pride myself on being a sexually open professional. Okay, I, I like to pride myself on being a connoisseur of the arts. And I feel like pleasure is something that, you know, when you vibe with somebody, that energy is mutual. So you feel it, you know, if you interact with somebody, you know, y'all should be vibing to where you could just feel what they like. You should just know. So I, I just knew, you know what I'm saying? I made it do the do, 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 do. And why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> why did I do that? why after that night i i made i made tommy climax a lot of times right that's all i've got i'm speaking the sign language in there after that i don't know what button i hit but it, it had to have been the crazy button because from that point on tommy became an obsessed stalker clingy Super needy. So when I say clingy, uh, I was like, hold on a second. I was like, hold on a second. This is this is this is not gonna work for me. This is not gonna work for me. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like that time too when you know what I'm saying I did the hand play. Tommy went down again, but to me that's like an appetizer. You know, you giving me a head. That's the appetizer. After that, I want some penetration. And we would argue about that because Tommy was like, "Yo, I could go get the strap." And I'm like, "No, it's not the same, my guy. It's not the same." I used to have a dildo. I played with it once. I was like, "I don't like this. Ugh. It's nothing like the real thing. I need that interaction." And I, I started just missing men while Tommy's head was between my legs. Isn't that rude? Isn't that disrespectful? You down there doing your thing, and I'm sitting there thinking about. Oh boy, I, I just it just didn't feel right for me. It just didn't. Because for me, as I said before, oral sex, that's a part of foreplay. Afterwards, I need penetration. Not not from a, a, a rubber toy. You know I have sensitive parts. Can we put all that rubber and shit down there? Right? I like the feel of a man. I like that hard body. I like to feel on that man it just wasn't the same i don't want titties on me i have titties i don't want those on me no offense to you know anybody in the lgbtq community but that's just not for me and i realized in that second time that it just wasn't for me and tommy did not take that well i was honest the whole relationship lasted probably about a month i was honest Tommy did not handle that shit well, okay? Tommy was like, no, but I love you. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, I was like, yeah, I see how you could do that, but <laughs> you tripping up, you know what I'm saying? Tommy was like, I want to get married. And do this and that. I was like, Tommy, <laughs> no, I can't. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't. I was like, I want the same things you want as well. Just, just not with you. Tommy was like, well, there's other things we could do besides, you know, say getting the strap and stuff. I was like, yeah, but it's not the same. I was like, it felt amazing. I think you're an amazing person and everything, but it's just not for me, Tommy. Tommy was like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's fine. Well, we could just be friends then. I was like, okay, cool. After that, let me tell you something. Every day I would go to work, Tommy <laughs> would be sitting there. Tommy would be at my job, okay? I'm like, how are you affording your lifestyle if you are always at my job? Tommy would always be at my job, sitting somewhere, lurking, creeping, trying to pass messages with my coworkers and stuff. I'm like, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. Tommy would always be calling my phone, leaving messages. I'm talking about messages to where I be listening to the messages like thinking we've been together like three to three to five years, the way these messages are sounding instead of these 30 days. 
right? I was like, oh no, this is too much. This is too much. So, <sighs> finally, one night, I went back to that bar with the crew from work or whatever, right? And I see Tommy. And I'm like, okay, we're not doing this, X, Y, and Z. Tommy tried to make a scene and grab me dramatically, whatever. I'm like, nah, we're not doing this. So I'm on the dance floor, of course, because they play reggae music whenever they see me because I'm Jamaican and I'm a dance hall queen. So I'm cutting up. Tommy dead ass stood in the middle of the dance floor while I'm dancing with this dude and stood there and fucking fighting stance the whole time, mugging me and this dude the whole time. Uh, and I'm not the type of person that just be on dance for one song. Okay, this is like three, four songs. Tommy's mugging, yo, the whole time. And just like having these like sporadic outbursts. Like, like, like I'm your baby mama or something. And you miss me. You love me. Like, stop. I was like, yo, you gotta stop. I had to tell Tommy, like, yo, you got you gotta stop. I'm like, for this not cool. Please, I don't wanna have to beat you up. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta say what you gotta say. I don't wanna have to beat you up, Tommy, okay? You gotta cut it out. This is just not working out. It's not. It's not. You can't do this. This is not okay. It's not normal. Yo. One night. I can't remember if it was that same night or shortly thereafter. But it was one of the two. But one night. We're just going to call it one night. One night I'm home and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Right? Of course, you know, you got your cell phone in the bed with you. Now, mind you, I told you, Tommy, you used to keep always bought my phone. To the point where I stopped answering my phone. So then Tommy would call for a block number, but I would always know it was Tommy. Wouldn't answer. This night, my phone started ringing. It took me by surprise because Tommy had stopped phone stalking me for like a week or two. So I was like, okay, Tommy then found another bitch or something, okay? Tommy even came to my job with another female putting on a whole facade. And then after that, you know what I'm saying, came back up begging. So I was like, okay, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe Tommy took... Tommy's bipolar meds. Tommy got out of the bitch, moved on. So my phone rings. I don't think nothing of it, and I just answer. I got to get this for sound effects, y'all. So I answer the phone, right? Not, I didn't look at the screen or nothing. I just answered the phone like, hello? 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 Nothing. So I just get quiet, because I already know who it is. I'm like, hello? And I hear... I was like, yo, I was like, yo, say word. I thought I was in the movie Scream. I thought I was in the movie Scream, yo, breathing mad hard, mad hard, mad hard. I had to be like, yo, Tommy. And that's when Tommy broke down. I was like, yo, this bitch got emotional issues. I was like, that's why I can't be gay. Because I forgot that females are more emotional and sensitive than men. And... It's not that serious to me. <laughs> it's, it's just not that serious to me. I cannot. I can't deal with that. I'm dramatic enough on my own. I'm female enough and have enough emotions on my own. I don't I don't need that from somebody else. Miss Emma can do it. I had to seriously talk Tommy off the ledge that night and kindly explain how... I started off a heterosexual female that told Tommy that I knew for certain I was not gay. I tried it with Tommy being open, but it still did not feel right. I had to explain to Tommy, Tommy, you'd be a great girlfriend for somebody else who is not me. And I hope you find that. But please, stop calling me. You're making yourself look crazy, boo. Please stop. Finally, after about 10 minutes of crying, maybe 20, Tommy was like, all right, cool. I love you, boo. <laughs> I hung up the phone real quick. I was like, ah! Never again. Never again. Mm -mm. It's not for me, y'all. It's not for me.
It's not for everybody. And a lot of times people be asking me, even still to this day, like I would still be confused at almost 40 years old. They'd be like, you sure you don't like girls? You sure you're not gay? I'm sure, ma'am or sir, I am positive. I've tried it. It's not for me. What I also learned from that, I after that, I definitely met some male soul snatchers. But I've also always been a teacher. That's why it's important to be sexually open and sexually fluid. You know, each one teach one. I don't taught so I don't taught some 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 men how to do it. And me personally, my opinion, when they say that females just know the female anatomy better and they know what to do better, I, I kind of halfway agree with that. I halfway agree with that. Okay, I do agree that females do know the female anatomy better. However, the other half of me has come across men, some that I've taught myself and some who already knew the art of cunnilingus, who knew my body and was looking spots I didn't even know the fuck I had. And you just, you like what you like. You like what you like. As far as I'm concerned, it's nothing like the real thing. But to each his own. But I wanted to share that story with y'all. That's it, y'all. If you made it through this story, you a fucking OG. You a thug. And I fucks with you. And I'm glad that you tuned in. And I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to check out my Etsy shop where I have all types of beautiful custom jewelry by yours truly, of course, handmade, blessed. Everything I have on is from Empress Oracle Shop. You guys have a wonderful night. I love you all.